ladies and gentlemen, under the investment perspective, the proposed licensing framework is expected to have a positive contribution on investment as new firms enter the market, while incumbent firms position themselves to provide new and innovative products. The new licensing framework will also encourage new investment by the incumbent to ensure that they remain competitive. This will include, but not limited, to investment related to improving quality of service and customer experience. It is important also to indicate that this framework is likely to provide avenues for increasing the return on investment by operators. Additionally, firms will have an opportunity to provide diverse and innovative products which will assist the increasing, uh, which will assist with increasing their revenues. While at the same time, the licensing framework responds to the emerging trends of convergence in the platform used to provide ICT services. This convergence licensing framework will ultimately have a positive contribution on the return of investment as new revenue streams are exploited. While on the other hand, it will provide more choices in ICT services for consumers. As firms compete for market share, they are likely to enhance the quality of their services on the market. Firms that provide poor quality of service are likely to have a smaller market share, which ultimately affects their profitability. <coughs> in order to remain viable in a competitive environment, firms will strive to provide the highest level of quality for their services. The licensing framework will facilitate avenues for innovation and business models adopted by operators as well as service provided on the market. The evolution and emergence of products and services in the ICT sector is fast-paced. This new licensing framework is therefore aimed at embracing the fact and leveraging on the associated benefits for consumers and providers. You may be interested, ladies and gentlemen, to note that the resources are collected by Zambia Revenue Authority are largely dependent on the revenues generated by the private sector. The new licensing framework is expected to have a positive contribution to the treasury as more firms enter the ICT sector, as well as revenues by the incumbent firms increase from new products, from new products available on the market. No doubt, the framework is expected to have a positive contribution on the value of goods and services provided on the market and will be achieved through two broad avenues. In the first instance, the licensing framework provides for entry of new players on the market who will have some contribution through their additional revenue contribution. Further, the proposed licensing framework allows for more diverse products such as VoIP, voice over IP, on the market. The framework also provides for innovative business models such as mobile virtual network operators, which are likely to positively contribute to the economy. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, allow me to thank you for coming to this important exercise, and which I believe you give us valuable comments on the guidelines that we've produced, um, which we hope, um, not hope, which I believe we're going to take on board and make sure that we have something that is of industry uh, generated. I thank you all and God bless you.